Nice car. Are these your wheels? Oh, uh, yeah. Damn it, I got stuck in a car again. These mafia members are getting crazy. What's this? Hmm, cardboard. Cardboard and video games. Together, they make an addiction. One of the sources of these addictions is Wizards of the Coast, a fine purveyor in all things money. One of their products is Magic the Gathering, an amazing game that if the player goes in with the right mindset, can be both fun and inexpensive. I did say if. A little while ago, I made a program that would let me make magic cards for a personal project. I could have done this manually, but Photoshop and coffee would only get me so far, and as a programmer, I needed to take a two-week task and turn it into a never-ending part of my life. Hey, the rest of my cards are in here. These were the fruits of my labor. I was able to get my friends to go to a local game shop and play this monstrosity of a card game with me. And it was quite fun. Oh, I remember when I made these. Ah, oh. those were fun times. I even think a few people asked me to update it over time. Is that what this is about? Maybe that's why I'm here. Maybe the mafia just needs me to fix my program for them. I mean, I did make it for a programmer, not for like, people. Thank God I leave this in my pocket. In order to make the next Rhystic Sentinel, we need to first look at how I made the original. I used a website called Card Conjurer to steal a bunch of magic card frames, and then I created my own card editor that will let me take in things like text and card frames, and then generate AI art and text, and then lets me export it to a PNG. The only problem is, is that I did this all in Unity. I never made it able to export. Because it can't be exported, I can't just give it to people. So why did I do it like this? Eh. But now with other people wanting to use my creator for other card games, I decided that it's time to give it an update. So we need a new start. Let's create a new Unity project with the sole purpose of exporting to Windows. I set up my project and imported some assets that I have and started laying out the program. But we also need to talk about the card game that these Mafia members won. Universes, the best way to have a seizure next to Mountain Dew and Hot Sauce. In reality, this is a fantastic card game, and that's why I have two addictions. And I am crazy. And now we're going to talk about why this project is different. In the past, I would just use AI art and AI text and call it a day. But my friends want to use their own stuff. In order to do this, I need to be able to open up the file explorer. And this is something that I've never had to do before. So we're going to learn about a whole new area of programming, the Windows file system. So let's take a look at Universe's cards. These cards are great, and the best part is we can put art behind them, but sometimes we want to put our own custom art. In order to do that, we need to be able to give the user the ability to not just get whatever art they want, but be able to just select it from their entire file system. The way I achieved this is actually by being able to click on a button and then define some browser properties. Things like what files are you allowed to click on? What are you allowed to actually add into the game? Then we can call a quarantine to actually go load the photo. The first thing we need to check is whether or not the actual path to the file that we have is real. If it is real, then that's great. We get to just do whatever we want. If it's not real, we have to give a debug. If it's real though, we want to make it into a texture and then add it directly into the game. Let's see if it works. Yes, 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 yes. We now have access to the file explorer in Unity, and this is huge. That basically means that we get to develop our entire program and know that we can import and export in a build. In practice, a user can now import an image, and with some cool sliders that I made up, we can now actually scale it and move it around, and it'll stay within the card. The rest of the buttons and doodads that actually change what it looks like were actually made in the last project. And that's really awesome because we can just kind of reuse it, which, you know, I'm lazy. It's fine. A phone call is here. Hello? This is the Coding Mafia. Oh, good. Do you have any more trunks? You have one more task before we set you free. Oh, yeah. How did you know I was recoding my entire project for you? We didn't. You just told us. Crap. Well, if that's the case, you need to add the ability to change the text color in an easy way for a user. Shit, that's it? We want to get input from our users and change it, transform it. 
we can actually write a function that will take in a string and then output our new text. When we get some new text from the user, we can actually parse it and figure out different characters inside of it. Here's an example. If we make sure that the user adds little different symbols, we can actually then go in and replace each symbol one at a time. And then, in the actual Unity program, we can have it look different. In this example, Enhance is now orange, while the rest of the text is left white. Now I can export the project to Windows, and I uploaded it to my itch page, and I also uploaded it to my GitHub page. So now hopefully I can get out of this stupid car. Can I go now? Oh, they let me out. Where am I?